In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to run the air raid Y stick passing concept out of any spread formation in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the uh, channel here, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every day to help people become better Madden players. And we're in our Madden 23 training camp series right now where I'm talking about concepts that will actually transfer over very well to Madden 23. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the stick passing concept um, here. And we can actually do this from the trips tied in formation. Um, and I'm gonna show you a real simple way to do the Y stick concept from pretty much any play in the game and show you why it can be so helpful for being able to attack specifically these cover two style blitzes that I think are gonna be very, very popular in Madden 23. All right, guys, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to put, um, you can select really any passing concept that you would like. My personal favorite is the PA counter go out of the trips tied in. And you want to run this with good spacing, in my opinion. So we're going to move the ball over here to the right uh, hash mark so that our trips formation is to the wide side of the field. Now, in order to beat this, we have to first understand what is the purpose of a cover two blitz? How does the coverage work behind it? And what is the likelihood of the user doing certain things that we can take advantage of? So the first thing that we wanna understand here is if it's a cover two blitz, they typically will be using someone on the running back side so that they can have better coverage to the side of the passing strength. Here, we're gonna have a yellow zone and a flat zone over here on the left side. Whereas on the right side, our user is going to be a yellow zone so he can kind of cheat over into this area if there's no routes attacking that area of the field now the best tip that I can give you for the stick and the setup is the basic stick concept is essentially a three-man read we're going to flat our triangle receiver and then we have a couple of options that we can do with our circle receiver the first thing we can do is we can put him on an out route why would you put him on an out route it's better for man-to-man -man coverage it's also better for these cover two blitzes because you'll see here I can throw him in that little pocket right there and get about five to seven yards even though he has a yellow zone on the field. A more kind of mainstream way, if you will, of doing this would be um, to do it like this, where we have the circle receiver on a hitch, we have the triangle receiver on a out route or a quick flat route, and then we have the square receiver on the fade. Now, this is a really good concept, a really good variation of this as well. And really, the backside is up to you. You've got a couple different options. My personal favorite is to put the tight end on a post. If you have tight end apprentice, if you don't have tight end apprentice, then you could put him on a dig route. Just something over there to essentially kind of get their user to have to stay on that side of the field. But what you're gonna see at the snap of the ball is we're looking to the left side. Our first read is we're gonna to look to our fade, then we're gonna to look to our flat, and then we're going to look to our stick. So we're looking to our fade here. We see OP bites down, so we can throw the fade against this cover two blitz. It's essentially, there's two primary things that they can do from a cover two perspective. The first one was a soft squat. The second one is a hard flat. You see here again, he is gonna stick down. So we're pass leading that outside to get it away from the safety so that we can get it over the top of that player. Now, another thing that I wanna point out to you though, is the third type of cover two blitz, which is my personal favorite. We're going to shade down so that our vert hooks are gonna play underneath, and then we're going to cloud flat the outside cornerback on the left side of the screen. And what you're gonna notice with this is it's going to create this bail coverage, and you're gonna see that I can throw this flat once he gets to the sideline and kind of hooks up. Now my flat is going to be open. So I'll show you that again here. Um, and again, you could put Miller if you wanted to, you could certainly put him on a whip or a quick out. And what you'll see here is the cloud flat backs up. So we can just simply take the flat that our opponent is giving us. Again, another thing that I like to do though for these cover two style blitzes is something like this, because what this is gonna do is it's gonna make it a lot harder for that yellow zone to be able to defend this because you see I have leverage to that sideline. So as you can see, that's another little option and variation for the stick concept. Now, another defense that the stick concept needs to be prepared to beat is the cover zero man. You can notice here that if they do run man coverage, a lot of times there is a tell such as players moving inside or stuff like that. And again, a 
a little bit of a rule of thumb here is you want to run against man and sit against zone. So our hitch is not going to be that good of an option. So what we want to do here is we want to take Godwin and put him on a zig or a quick out. And what this is going to do is going to give us a nice little man beater right to that sideline. And again, we're moving the chain or not moving the chains, but we're getting downfield quickly and being able to attack the pressure, which is what the stick concept is all about. You can run the stick concept from basically anything. Again, one of the things I wanted to do in the series is talk about concepts that will transfer over to Madden 23. And the stick concept is certainly one of those. Now, you can apply this to the trips tight end formation like we did in this video. And if you're watching this and you want to learn how how to run the trips tight end offense make sure to join our patreon it's only 10 bucks uh, to sign up for that and it will get you unlimited access to all of our ebooks including our trips tight end full offensive ebook that is very effective in madden 22 and it's also very effective in madden 23 so if you want to grab those ebooks there's a link in the description where you can join the patreon so head on down there and click that link if you want to check all that stuff out